this kind of opens up um, sort of into your work on women's careers mm -hmm. and on sort of role conflict mm -hmm. in relationships. And I'm wondering if you can tell us a bit about that and what your... Well, I, this is something I say, I used to say in a number of my talks that a lot of the, your interesting research questions come out of your own life. Mm -hmm. So when you think about Janet and her, how she got into the whole gender thing, she suddenly noticed that, oh my gosh, we're doing all these studies and it's all with men, you know, where are the women? Yeah. And so with me, I mean, having, being in a commuting marriage and having an infant and role conflict and whatever, it was just a natural way to get into that mm -hmm. area of research. Yeah. Um, and so, and then men in dual career families. I mean, you know, it's just like it was handed to me here. And, and that was a study very similar to this study where we actually did interviews mm -hmm. with the men. Um, and actually that was a Spissy book, yes. um, which I thought was a really important way of giving back because I think APA was very important in terms of my own development and all the, yeah. the the, especially the women that I met. I mean, mm -hmm. Carolyn Sharif wrote one of one of my assistant to associate letters. Mm -hmm. I was looking through that the other day, not the other day, but <laughs> when I was moving <laughs> yes. to say, oh, who wrote for me? And I just, you know, name yeah. what names I had put in. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, so that so men are dual career families um, and. Uh, role conflict. A lot of my grad students were interested in those questions, and yes. um, actually, I love working with smart graduate students. I mean, that's you know that's what really makes things worthwhile. I also had a very good colleague, Carol Hollihan, who um, also she got her degree at UT, and her husband was, of course, a tenured faculty member, um, and so we uh, worked together a lot. And she postdoc with Janet. Uh, and that's how I got to know her. But we did a lot of really good work on, on role conflict. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know, she eventually got a position in a, a different department on campus. And she's done very well. She's in health psychology now. So I did a lot of work with her. Then I started doing, um, I'm not sure how, so I wrote the first chapter on feminist therapy. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. I had the, kind of those two pieces. Yeah. And then I think, I just think I, I've always kind of had this ability um, to, I don't know, how do I put it, not bragging on myself, but mm -hmm. um, of seeing sexism. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, and one example is I, uh, I taught a graduate course on gender issues in psychotherapy, and one of the books we use for it and you, know, you don't read the clinical literature or any of that because that's not your area. Um, but there was a, a classic book of cases by Yalom. Okay. Or of Yalom, who was, you know, Mr. God, that everyone read and whatever. And so I used it in the classes of a critique mm. of gender and psychotherapy. Every case. And the students would read it and love it. And I said, oh, wait a minute now. Um, and they were just like, Oh my God! I never would have seen that, and and so I, and I think that, and where that comes from, I think, is growing up in an Italian family, growing up in, I don't know, whatever. Um, but I'm very sensitive to that, mm -hmm. um, and so uh, then I started doing a lot of uh, research and writing articles on gender and psychotherapy, yeah. uh, the unconscious bias, the. Um, you know, work with the ethics committee and of APA and uh, sex between um, therapist and client. You know, all that was involved and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. uh, and where people just couldn't see abuse of power. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So. So, were you on that committee when it came to sex and therapy, or just sort of commenting on? Um, uh, I was on APA council. Yes. And, and so. Um, uh, so I wasn't actually on the committee, but I was in the group. Um, I chaired the Women's Caucus, mm -hmm. uh, and where we had to argue this on the EPA Council floor, and I was the only person there. 